Welcome back to another Axis Analysis video for 1941. Today I am going to be challenging the uh, hard AI in AAA as the Soviet Union. A lot of you seem to really like the Soviet Union video that I released uh, a while back. Um, thanks for that. Thanks, thanks, thank you for the uh, 69 views. It's uh, very much appreciated. But anyway, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and play as the Russians here, and uh, the British and the Americans are going to be playing the hard AI. And the hard AI, honestly, is kind of um, kind of pretty bad, to be honest. The uh, the British and Americans like to leave their transports unguarded, but we're going to go ahead and see if we could manage to take on the Axis as the Russians. It's going to be a very uphill battle, but hopefully this is going to be somewhat educational for you guys. And uh, hopefully, yeah, hopefully you guys will learn a little bit more about this game. Okay, so first off, I'm going to try to carry the game. And so I'm going to try to press my advantage as fast and uh, as hard as possible. So I'm going to be going for the tank. Actually, um, actually, I am going to be going for the infantry here. I do, in fact, want to carry the game. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the West Russia and Ukraine battle. Try to take out as much of the German stuff as possible. While also being somewhat survivable with my infantry. So these, these are the openings I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing the West Russia and Ukraine battle here. The infantry in Siberia can go ahead and just kind of reinforce everybody. Um, yeah, over here. So go ahead and attack West Russia. Okay, that is uh, that is incredible, incredibly good. Oh wait, that was not the Ukraine battle. I thought that was the Ukraine battle for a second. Go ahead and attack Ukraine. Um, one casualty. That is incredible for us. We're going to retreat to the Caucasus. That was a very big opening for us. That could have went very badly, but um, this is the most ideal situation we are looking for. So we're going to click done. So the good thing about this opening, other than the uh, everything on West Russia opening, is because now the Germans won't be able to send one infantry into the Caucasus and uh, potentially get a lot of value from that or send a, a whatever a tank, an archangel. In this opening, um, they're kind of uh, going to be kind of cash starved for a little bit, but uh, it's just for a, going to be a, for a little bit, of course. Go ahead and click next turn. I did, in fact, get a new PC, so there might be some things randomly downloading and showing up in the background. But um, yeah, other than that, everything is uh, it's it's pretty beefy, honestly. Everything's running quite fast, so I do like it. And uh, but yeah, anyway, looks like the Japanese are going to be heavily pressuring us, and we're going to be taking a lot of pressure from all sides. So I uh, I am going to be getting some more infantry here. No tanks, unfortunately. I know. Um, I guess we could go ahead and stack the caucus. To attack, well, they do have an entire army of guys in Szechuan. But what I, but what I can do is take this fighter and attack season forty six. That is a free transport right there. Don't be the Japanese and do this. Don't leave your transports unguarded in this game. They just kind of disappear. So yeah, this plane will have two movement left and I'll be able to land back to the caucus next turn. Let's see, do they, they still do have one more uh, in fact for us. We could try to take Manchuria, but yeah, yeah they still have a transport there. Um, so they will look... The Germans look like they will be stacking West Russia next turn. That should be okay. I'm going to not leave a guy in West Russia, though, because uh, I think I could go ahead and comfortably hold Russia pretty easily here. These guys could go down there. Um, actually, no, I'm going to consolidate my troops. I don't really trust my odds in either of these battles. I'm gonna send the submarine, I guess over this way. The US, do it. the US does have a fleet here though. I'll send them down here into the canal area. And uh, yeah, that's looking like it is it. I will attack that transport and go right over here. Overall, that was pretty productive this turn. Kill the transport for, uh, and we just kind of gained infantry. Let's hit next turn. 
Looks like the Germans will be stacking West Russia here. Or they won't be stacking West Russia here, actually. They'll be stacking Archangel, though. And we'll be going for the infantry purchase here. Um, do we attack West Russia? No, it is not worth it. I believe I could stack Russia and both the Caucasus though, this turn. Yeah. yeah. I believe I could go ahead and do that and get away with it. They will, in fact, stack West Russia next turn, and I will have to, to uh, hold my guys. But um, for right now, we'll, we'll look, hold caucus and both Russia for this turn. Yeah, that should be enough to hold. Um, this guy could go over here and yeah. Could actually put these guys here. Hmm. I guess we can stack Russia, but then let's see, how are the Allies doing? Yeah. All right. Unfortunately, we cannot stack Caucus or Archangel. However, we can try to take out Rawls here. So I'm going to click Done. Send this guy over here. Yeah, that should be good. And then how much guys do I need to be able to stack Russia here? They have 12. They have 7. Actually, they have 13, actually. Okay, so they have 13 infantry. I'll put 13 infantry. They have 7 tanks. I'll say two, three, four, five, three, three, four, five. And I'll have a plane and two more infantry on top of that, so that's 20. I believe I do have the advantage there, so I'm going to semi stack Rawls here. Try to get away with that. It does look like they will be attacking Russia here. I take five casualties. They take eight casualties. I will take six casualties. And uh, yeah, they did. They went ahead and lost actually a lot of guys from that battle. Very lucky for us. I guess they saw an opening and tried to go for it. All right. Um, so here they appear to not be in a position to attack Russia. There's going to be a ton of fighters here that are also going to be able to protect us. And I believe we can actually also take over the caucus as well here. J Japan looks like they will be trying to go for me for some reason. But um, yeah, we're going to let me attack caucus. How much do I need to hold caucus? Probably, uh, I do have a lot of fighters in Russia, so I should be fine there. Let's go and see what our odds are looking like. I'd say four. If I have a stack of eight, maybe like, maybe that much. I have four here of five plus these planes. That should be more than enough to hold the caucus as well. Where's our little submarine at? Uh, let's see, can I attack this one? I can, in fact, try to attack these guys. The best I could do is actually taking this submarine out, which is not really what I'm trying to do. Um, these guys are going to probably move somewhere else. I'll send these guys. Oh, well, well, the Germans are trying to. Germans are trying to flush these guys out. So they're probably going to go through here. And uh, there's a destroyer that way. So I'm just going to, I'm going to chill right there in the season 17. All right, so we'll go ahead and try to take back the caucus here. Took back successfully. I'll place one infantry down. Let's see if they go for Russia again. I think it's going to be very, very close. But, uh, yeah. 
This looks like the, um, the fighters are going to be abandoning Russia here. Do not want that happening, but I believe we can stack both areas at once. Yeah. Can my sub do anything? No. Probably go over here and regroup with these guys, to be honest. What on earth is the USA doing? What is this? Four aircraft carriers? What the heck? What is going on over here? Oh, well, I'm not going to question the AI's decisions right now. I'm going to um, try to defend Russia. All right, so let's see if I do two here. Let's say that. And I could send the last four there. That should be fine. Yeah, this should be more than enough to hold Russia. And I could send in another two in the caucus. I believe that should be pretty much okay. Um, yeah. That looks to be that looks to be all right here. Go ahead, click done. I'm gonna make some infantry in the caucus. Let's see what the Germans do. Looks like they will be attacking the caucus and getting some good hits. Uh, yeah. Looks like we'll be taking that. Dang, really good hits. I didn't think that they would be able to do that. We did in fact lose a whole ton of troops. It looks like they're going to be stacking a lot of guys into the caucus there, which is, uh, huh. You know, um, I think we're going to, it's a little bit interesting. I'm gonna click done here. I'm gonna just reinforce these guys. I believe we actually attack caucus here. I believe we actually will gain more IPCs so I'm going to try to attack here and try to get some hits off of their very expensive units. And yeah, four hits. Okay, four hits back. I'll attack again. Ports back. Um, I'm going to retreat. I'm going to retreat. We went for it. Um, killed a lot of guys, but yeah. Click done. Took out a lot of offense. Will that be enough though? Hearing a lot of defeated battles here, but uh, yeah, at this point, kind of have to just kind of uh, turtle up. Looks like we have pretty much no options at this point unless the. It looks like we are, in fact, out of the game, actually. We'll go ahead and defend Russia, though, with our lives. Dang, only one hit. All right, um, well, that's kind of it, to be honest. Go ahead and continue, actually. You see how are how is the situation right now? It appears that uh, production-wise is okay. It's one to one. However, the Axis do have a, an an advantage here. And let's see how long did we survive? Show history. Okay, we saw, we survived for nine rounds as the Soviet Union with our uh, brain dead companions. I would say that's a uh, that's a pretty okay. That's, I think that's okay, but I think I do think we can do better. I'll probably go ahead and try this uh, again, this challenge again um, uh, next week or so. But um, anyway, we tried our best, but uh, you know, our best wasn't enough, it seems. Let's go ahead and check the Pacific. They, Japan did, in fact, take the Money Islands. Um, let's see, we got the uh, USA here leaving their transports unguarded. One, two, three, four. Um, actually, they are, in fact, safe, I would say. Um, anyway, for some reason, the German flea here in C-Zone 1 is still alive. That should not be... You should not let that see... You should not let that fleet still be alive by this point in the game. Yeah, the U.S. has a lot of fleets and stuff, but it doesn't really seem like they're in the position to be really attacking anything. Um, I guess they are going to take over Japan next turn, but I mean, Japan's going to just send in a bunch of fighters. And uh, the UK does have a good hold in China. However, the Germans are going to have seven guys coming in next turn. 
and pretty much just wipe them all out. Um, down here in Africa, they do. They always do, in fact, have Africa, but that is uh, not going to matter. Africa is worth absolutely nothing in this game. And uh, let's see, we have, yeah. The allies are kind of, uh, don't really have this. Yeah. Big win for the Axis. Um, tried what we could, but, uh, our, yeah. But anyway, I hope that uh, some of the strategies here would help you in, uh, <laughs> uh, in your actual game. I'll probably just go ahead and upload this, to be honest. Um, we did survive to round nine with our uh, with our AI friends, so I think that's a pretty good pretty good option or a pretty good win. Actually, you know what? That is that is I would say that is a win in our book. That is a win in my book. No, no, that's not a win. I'm gonna try this again tomorrow and see what happens. Anyway, uh, thanks. Thank you all, guys, for watching. I hope uh, hope you guys learned something. I guess from this video, even though I did in fact lose losing in. Uh, in losing an axis and allies as well as like any other thing in life you're going to learn the most from that hopefully you guys learned something from this or um, I, I guess maybe to get get better allies to be honest but um anyway um that's all i uh hope thank you guys for watching and uh see you see you in the next one